Good day, everyone. Welcome uh, to week six of our cooking special, I guess. Uh, you probably, if you're not at home this weekend, you're probably at the cottage. So this is a, what I'm going to make today is going to be a carbonara pasta, which is a, you know, something that's easily, something that's, something you can easily make up at the cottage. Uh, doesn't take that many ingredients. It's delicious. It's filling. And uh, if you substitute, substitute the pancetta for bacon, whatever bacon you have left over will be eggs in the morning. So uh, let's get started. Uh, these are the ingredients. This is everything you need. Uh, olive oil, a little bit of butter is fine. Pancetta, double smoked bacon, bacon works fine. Uh, we've got parmesan cheese. We've got um, aged grano padano, but any parmesan cheese will do. Garlic and pasta. First off, we're going to mix the eggs, grate the parmesan. A little trick for grating parmesan at home. Take a piece of parchment, put it on your cutting board. It contains everything, so you don't, don't cross-contaminate your bench. So we're just going to grate this up. It's parmesan cheese, so you can never have enough. So we've got our parmesan cheese. That's more than we'll need. Just like that. All right, so we've got our parmesan cheese. Next up, we're gonna cook the pasta and separate some eggs. So pasta goes in lightly salted water, not heavily salted water, and I'll, I'll show you why shortly. So the pasta noodles go in, apply a little bit of pressure so that they, they all get submerged, and then give it a little stir. So we're gonna take three egg yolks and one whole egg for this recipe. Separate an egg just like that. If you're wearing gloves, you can use your hands. Use the shell just to, to cut through the egg whites. If you get a bit of egg shell in the egg mix, uh, use the shell to scoop it out. It's, it's, uh, it's actually ideal for cutting through the, the membrane. So three yolks, one egg. Save the egg whites for your breakfast in the morning. Give these a good mix. Now, add some parmesan cheese to this and add some black pepper. So that's ready to go. So we turn our pan on and we cut up some garlic and cut up the pancetta. Okay, so we've got our water in the pot. We've got our egg and cheese mix ready. We've cut up some garlic and some pancetta. And we'll get it started. So you wanna turn a heavy based saucepan if you've got one or a heavy based pot onto high heat just to get a bit of heat through it. And then we're gonna turn it down to about a medium heat as we cook the garlic and the pancetta. So a bit of oil in the pan. I also add a little bit of butter. And just let that melt. Next off, we add the pancetta. And we add the garlic. I add the garlic off to the side, just so it gets a bit of direct heat. And then give it a stir. Now I don't add any salt at this point, I add a bit of pepper. And we wanna just cook that down. And we want the pancetta to cook down, render off a bit of the fat, the garlic to sweat off, and flavor the oil. A little bit more oil. All right, so while that's cooking, and the pasta's cooking, I've got a few minutes. I'll go through what we've got for specials for you this week. Uh, we do have lasagna coming out, individual size and uh, the half hotel pan. So we've got those. We've got mac and cheese coming out this week. Uh, we've got two different varieties. We've got regular mac and cheese. The, you'll, you'll probably see it on the screen right now while I talk about it. Uh, mac and cheese, it's got a little uh, Parmesan cheese gratin on top, the breadcrumbs. We've also gotten a limited variety, barbecue pulled pork mac and cheese. Uh, they're selling fast and we've only got a limited amount. So uh, 
So get in early if you want one of those. We have, we're introducing new flatbreads. We've got a vegetarian one, pesto, grilled veg, and goat's cheese. And we've got a meat lovers flatbread. You just pop them in an oven, uh, 375, five minutes. You just want to color, you just want the, the top to, to color and, and melt, and they're ready to go. So we've got those for you, those two varieties. We've also got MGC honey. We've got a small amount of MGC honey uh, still available. And we've got the, the wild rice blend as our special this week. Uh, now, I would also like to mention that we've got bacon on sale. Uh, off the top of my head, I think it's $3 and change for a pound, down from four twenty five. dollars I think it was. Uh, we're just trying to move that. We've got a we've we've got about twenty pounds of it to go through. So, so get in if you get if you're going up to the cottage, get some. It's it's got plenty of shelf life left on it. We're just trying to just trying to move it. And um, I should also mention that we've got clementines and asparagus are a bit of a price alert at the moment. We've run into a little bit of a hiccup in our supply. Asparagus has, has kind of trebled in price since last week. So if you're buying asparagus, just be wary that it's now over seven dollars a pound. And clementines, we were doing four pound boxes for five dollars or six dollars. Uh, now they're two pounds, two pound bags for about the same price. I'm hoping the the asparagus price will stabilize as it is coming into the season, and we should start getting Ontario asparagus soon. Um, but yeah, just just be wary of those two price points. While you're all while I've got your attention, where anyone heading to the cottage after Mother's Day weekend, so heading up for May two four, we're going to work. Uh, we haven't ironed out the kinks of it yet, but we're going to do a cottage package together, I think. A couple of steaks, a couple of pieces of chicken, some corn, some potatoes, everything you need to go up to the cottage the first day and, and have a meal ready to go. So keep an eye out for those. They're going to be coming out after Mother's Day. And speaking of Mother's Day, if you haven't already placed your order and you want to do something nice for the, your mother or your wife, uh, it's a great way to do it. Uh, before the cutoff, I think it's Friday. So we're cooking that down, just rendering off any of the fat on the pancetta. Medium low heat at this point is fine. We've got our pasta going and to test, to test if pasta is cooked, you want to break it in half and there should be a little white, white center in the middle and not white all the way around, uh, like a, a yellow ring around. So at this stage, we're, uh, we're going to add the pasta. Now you want to remove it if you've got a gas stove, you want to remove it away from the heat because the water from the pasta and the, the oil will splatter. Tilt it away from your face, add the pasta. It doesn't matter if you get a bit of the water in there. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit anyway. Now, I haven't seasoned this with any salt yet because the pancetta is, is quite salty. And we're going to take a little bit of this, the lightly salted pasta water just to thin it out a touch. A little bit of pepper. Give it a stir. And then uh, what you want to do is turn it off the heat. You need the pasta to cool down before we add our egg and cheese mix. This is because if it's too hot, you'll have, it, you'll have noodles with scrambled egg, which uh, isn't what we're going for today. Let's give it a stir, let a bit of the heat out. That should be about right. I'm gonna mix this in. And uh, if, you're, if you're worried about the eggs not being cooked, don't be. There's enough residual heat in the pasta and the base of the pan to cook the eggs. You can throw, uh, throw your parsley in at this point if you want, or just go, or garnish the plate with it at the end. And that's it. And there you go. Authentic carbonara.